video. Um, I, you probably don't know because I don't think I really told anybody. <laughs> so, so me and the person who bought my other King Bee and my husband are like the only people that know. I uh, sold, if you follow me on social media, you would have seen my original King Bee that you've seen in all of my other videos. Um, the reason I sold it was because I had purchased it, kind, God, I feel like half a year <laughs> before the Golden World came out. It was when I became a dealer when I got my King Bee. Oh, there's Jolene. And um, it was before the Golden World came out. And since I do so many demo videos... And I am a dealer, and I'm, uh, I don't know, it's weird to say I'm one of the, I, I guess, bigger dealers that people find. I wanted to have the more up-to-date version, and I also wanted to get the skein winder. And also, with the Golden Whirl, um, the pre-Golden Whirl ones have the quarter-inch rod, and so all the bobbins and stuff have to be quarter-inch, and the... New ones with the Golden Whirl, for the most part, all have this larger 3 8 inch rod. And so then all the bobbins and parts fit that. So I just, um, I wanted to go ahead and get that where it was, uh, you know, where everything was matching since I am a dealer. So I wanted to do this video and it will be quick because I am busy today. But I didn't want to miss an opportunity to show you exactly how it came in from the, uh, you know, exactly how it came in out of the box. So all you have missed is the part where I wrestled this out of the box and cut all of the plastic wrap that was wrapped all around it. <laughs> Other than that, I have done nothing to it. So this is, if you order a king bee, worker bee, or queen bee, exactly how it would come, I would imagine. Um, so it comes, let's see, and I just kind of unhooked that myself. But you can see the bands because uh, are already on there. One new thing I see is they have started doing this little black connector band, um, which my old one didn't have. And I'm glad they've started doing that because the older ones, um, occasionally with humidity or whatever, would sometimes not want to sit as tight. And I live in Tennessee, so like humidity is a thing, uh, as you have noticed with my hair. <laughs> so it, this is exactly how it came out of the box. I have not done anything to it. Um, so if you order one, it's going to come just like this. So flip down the foot pedal, and this is going to be challenging to do with no uh, thing holding my camera. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Sorry about this. There you go. Oh, sorry. All I did was pull this knob. I said, I don't even have my camera stand. This actually came a day earlier than I thought it was going to come. So, like I said, I was busy getting shipments out. So, all I've done is pull this and open it up. And let's see. The one cool thing with these that I learned the last time is they have these little grooves. And you will see in my other videos, and God, I haven't done this in forever. You can kind of walk the bands up it's really slick by putting them in the grooves oh bloop so you just heard it thump and then i want it to go up one more so i'm going to i guess i could technically just pick it up but we'll be cool here and you just put it in the groove and rotate it that way and with one hand this is not easy but I would recommend doing this with two hands for sure. But you can, the idea is with two hands, you would put it here and do the same thing I just did where you feed it up through the groove and then go counterclockwise and it pops your band up here. You can adjust it over here just by moving it. And this band I have noticed, this is a thicker band than what I had. And this one is thinner. I think on my last one, they were seemed like they were the same same width, so that's new. And my Lazy Kate pegs are still over here, which, as you know, the Lazy Kate, the thing I love about all the B-wheels is the built-in Lazy Kate. And let's see, the bobbins are here. And it all, all of the wheels come where with yarn. If you're like, why is there yarn on here? And she says she hadn't spun anything. I actually didn't spin this. They have a quality control person in the shop who spins a little bit of fiber on each wheel to, um, you know, assure that it is working correctly and smoothly. 
Yeah, this is new for me. Okay, how that fits in there. So it's very secure. It comes with a bag <laughs> with a smiley face that says King Bee, and it's got, let's see what's in here. This is my orifice bar, according to the bag. Whoever wrote that has much prettier handwriting than me. It comes with some paperwork and a ratio guide, and I do send this out. They have uh, updated their kind of the way their user guide looks since, uh, I feel like a few times since I've been a dealer. So I always try to email out what, to my knowledge, is the newest one, but it's nice. It looks like you get paper ones too. And, nope, hey, this is cute. I haven't seen this before. Like little card telling you why it's awesome. That's always nice. Oh, and it was quality control checked. That's really cute. That's new. So that's what comes in that bag. And then my orifice bar is right here. Ta-da! Like I said, once again, with one hand, hopefully I got all this on here. Oh, yeah, there you go. This is not... This is one of the two, I usually either spin like this or I'll put it on the biggest one on this side and the middle one on that side. Oh man, that's so quiet and nice. Definitely smooth, I would say smoother and oh yeah, look at that. Just going from, like I said, my last one was not Golden Whirl and it was super smooth and quick and I really, I mean it was the wheel I've raved about in all of my other videos. But I can definitely say I have, can tell, a, oh yeah, oh, you can see a big difference on that one. Um, the thing with the Golden Whirl is it gives you kind of the longer, like, free spinning. Yeah, that definitely free spins for much longer. <laughs> like I said, this is my first time playing with this one. So obviously my other wheels, um, with the exception of my Poliwog, because it's older too, um, but, I mean, it's the Poliwog, so it's, like, super speedy anyhow. So, my Bullfrog and my Echo are both Golden Whirl. But this is my first time. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, my other B definitely didn't do that. I feel like I might even have a really old video somewhere demonstrating that it did not do that. <laughs> so, that's fun. It's definitely, I see a big improvement with that, with the Golden Whirl. There is the Golden Whirl. It is on the... Uh, biggest gear there to switch that down that would be the smallest gear let's see how I feel about that one and y'all know that I am definitely oh yeah that's different uh <laughs> I'm sorry I know y'all all think I'm ridiculous it's just so, oh I love it I just love it everybody's always like what's your favorite wheel and that's like what's your favorite child and uh I don't know don't tell the echo which is sitting over there yeah don't tell the echo but I have a big soft spot for the bees. They're so funny. I mean, look at them. They're the most ridiculous looking spinning wheel I've ever seen, but they are so responsive and so cool. And I will definitely do a better video on this later. Um, also, let's see what else came in this box. I ordered because I'm silly and I just really liked them. <laughs> so it came with, you see, one, two, three uh, wooden bobbins, which in case your brain doesn't work like mine doesn't sometimes. When I was unboxing this, I was like, wait a minute, there's only two bobbins in this box. <laughs> and then I was like, oh yeah, I'm stupid. It's already in the wheel. Cause like I said, they do a quality control. So uh, I don't know if you have also not had enough coffee while unboxing your spinning wheel, like the third bobbin, it's, it's gonna be over there, so. <laughs> But like I said, just because I had these with my other one that I sold to the person who bought it, um, so they got bobbins from me as a gift, um, I had to have the 3D printed honeycomb bobbins to go with my bee because I'm a dork and I really like the uh, Spin Perfect bobbins, which as you see come in these cute little bags and they are collapsible. So see, look how cool would I be? I can take this to the beach. I can collapse this. And into a box, and then I can take my, instead of taking these big old bobbins, which don't collapse, I can take my three cool little bobbins, do collapse, throw them in my suitcase, nice and flat-like, and, or I could even probably, there'd probably, yeah, there'd totally be enough room to, like, stick them right there. Oh, man, that's going to be slick. I'm going to be the envy of, I guess, my mom, <laughs> who will be the only other spinner when we uh, go to the beach to see family, but anyhow, so that's super cool. 
But, uh, so yes, I ha got my 3D printed bobbins because I, at first I was all like, oh, just keep the ones I have. And then I realized that the ones I had, like I said, were the quarter inch rod. And I was like, ah, oh, curses, I'm going to need the bigger rod. So now I have the bigger rod ones. So like I said, the person who bought it just got them as a gift, which is fine with me. So got that. And for a another video yet to be made that I promised the camera will be less Blair Witch Project for, I got the skein winder, which is can attach on this one or my Echo or my Bullfrogs. They all have the uh, 3 8 inch rod. And this is the skein winder. And I have never, ever, ever messed with one before. But as you can imagine, the fiber business, being able to have a, uh, you know, fancy skein winder, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, <laughs> So that was, like I said, another big reason I wanted to go ahead and uh, sell mine and get the new one is because, as I tell everybody, if you get accessories with a wheel, you don't have to pay for shipping. So, so I was like, eh, I want to get a new, you know, King B anyhow. So I got the skein winder. So I will make a video um, with that, and I'm sure more on this once I have time. But I just wanted to show you for uh, anybody who's looking at one of the bees and are like, but how's it going to come? Like if you had... Uh, my, you know, I know other wheel brands, including the first wheel I ever had, came in a box. I'm not joking. It looked like a TV could be in this box. It was like this thin. <laughs> and you had to put the whole thing together, including varnish it. So I always like to show off the fact that with these, like, it literally just came out of a box. And now it's awesome. And it, you know, I didn't have to do anything to it. So that is definitely something you are paying for with one of uh, Spinolution wheels is not having to assemble it or paint it or do anything weird to it. It's just for 